Shabbat Shalom, brothers and sisters and Yeshua. We're finally back for another scripture reading. I apologize for missing last week's. Um, things kind of went crazy. Alright, um, but today we're going to be reading Genesis 12 and Matthew 11. I'm hoping to get to Matthew 12 so I'm able to catch up, but we'll see. Oh, yeah, it's timing and will. Okay. Genesis 12, the call of Abram. Yahweh had said to Abram, Go from your country, your people, and your father's household to the land I will show you. I will make you into a great nation, and I will bless you. I will make your name great, and you will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you, and whoever curses you I will curse. And all peoples on earth will be blessed through you. So Abram went, as Yahweh had told him, and Lot went with him. <laughs> Abram was seventy-five years old when he set out from Haran. He took his wife Sarai, his nephew Lot, all the possessions they had accumulated, and the people they had acquired in Haran, and they set out for the land of Canaan, and they arrived there. Abram traveled through the land as far as the side of the great tree of Moreh at Shechem. At that time, the Canaanites were in the land. Yahweh appeared to Ad, sorry, Abram and said, To your offspring I will give this land. So he built an altar there to Yahweh, who had appeared to him. From there he went on towards the hills east of Bethel and pitched his tent, with Bethel on the west and I on the east. There he, he built an altar to Yahweh and called on the name of Yahweh. Then Abram set out and continued toward the Negev. <coughs> now there was a famine in the land, and Abram went down to Egypt to live there for a while, because the famine was severe. As he was about to enter Egypt, he said to his wife Sarai, I know what a beautiful woman you are. When the Egyptians see you, they will say, This is his wife. Then they will kill me, but let you live. Say you are my sister, so that I will be treated well for your sake, and my life will be spared because of you. <laughs> when Abram came to Egypt, the Egyptians saw that Sarai was a very beautiful woman, and when Pharaoh's officials saw, saw her, they praised her to Pharaoh, Sorry. and she was taken into his palace. He treated Abram well for her sake, and Abram acquired sheep and cattle, male and female donkeys, male and female servants and camels. But Yahweh inflicted serious diseases on Pharaoh and on, and on his household because of Abram's wife Sarai. So Pharaoh summoned Abram. What have you done to me? he said. Why didn't you tell me she was your wife? Why did you say, she is my sister, so that I took her to be my wife? Now then, here is your wife, take her and go. Then Pharaoh gave orders about Abram to his men, and they sent him on his way with his wife and everything he had. Alright, so I've, there's been a quick change in plans. I'm just going to get through Matthew 11. Um, yeah, because chapter 12's it, my camera wouldn't allow me to get through the whole thing today. we we'll do that next week. Okay, Matthew 11. You, sorry. After Yoshua had finished teaching his twelve disciples, he went on from there to teach and preach in the towns of Galilee. When John, who was in prison, heard about the deeds of the Messiah, he sent his disciples to ask him, Are you the one who is to come, or should we expect someone else? Yoshua replied, Go back and report to John what you hear and see. The blind receive sight, the lame walk, and those who have leprosy are cleansed. The deaf hear, the dead are raised, and the good news is proclaimed to the, to the poor. Blessed is anyone who does not stumble on account of me. <laughs> As John's disciples were leaving, Yeshua began to speak to the crowd about John. What did you go out into the wilderness to see? A, ra sorry, a reed swayed by the wind? If not, what did you go out to see? A man dressed in fine clothes? <coughs> no, those who wear fine clothes are in king's palaces. Then what did you go out to see? A prophet? Yes, I tell you, and more than a prophet. This is the one about whom it is written. I will send my messenger ahead of you, who will prepare your way before you. Truly I tell you, among those born of women, there is not risen enough anyone greater than John the Baptist, yet whoever is least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he. 
from the days of john the baptist until now the kingdom of heaven has been subject to subjected to violence and violent people have been raiding it for all the prophets and the law prophesied until john and if you are willing to accept it he is the elijah who was to come whoever has an ear let him hear to what can i compare this generation they are like children sitting in the marketplaces and calling out to others we played the pipe for you and you did not dance we sang a dirge and you did not mourn but john came neither eating nor drinking and they said he sorry, and they say he has a demon the son of yah came eating and drinking and they say here is a gluten and a drunkard a friend of tax collectors and sinners but wisdom is proved right by her deeds then Yeshua began to denounce the towns in which most of his miracles had been performed, because they did not repent. Woe to you, Chorazan! Woe to you, Bethsaida! For if the miracles that were performed in you had been performed in Tyre and Sidon, they would have repented long ago in sackcloth and ashes. But I tell you, it would be more bearable for Tyre and Sidon on the day of judgment than for you. And you, Capernaum, sorry, Will you be lifted to the heavens? No, you will go down to Hades. For if the miracles that were performed in you had been performed in Sodom, it would remain to this day. But I tell you that it will be more bearable for Sodom on the day of judgment than for you. At that time, Yeshua said, I praise you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because you have hidden these things from the wise and learned and revealed them to little children. Yes, Father, for this is what you were pleased to do. All things have been committed to me by my Father. No one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son, and those to whom the Son chooses to reveal him. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. All right, brothers and sisters, that's going to be all for now. Um, so next week, I'm hoping to get more, more read, um, like Matthew 12, so, and 13. Anyway, so, I love you all very much, my brothers and sisters in Yeshua, and even though it's not Hanukkah yet, tomorrow is, so, I guess, uh, never mind, sorry. <laughs> all right, um. Yeah, that's it. Alright. Alright, well, bye for now.